What's up, what's happening? You already know who it is and what it is. It's your boy Q Walker, a.k.a. Nephew Q, host of the world's most dangerous sports show. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be giving you my Tampa Bay Bucks breakdown, starting with the training camp going into the season. So let's start off. The training camp kicks off this Tuesday, July 26th, with all player and personnel reporting to the Tampa Bay Bucks training facility. Um, the Bucks' first preseason game is going to be against the Miami Dolphins on August the 13th. But anyways, going into training camp and going into this season, there's been a lot of offseason changes from the Bucks. Bruce Arians is gone as the head coach. Now, uh, t- defensive coordinator Ty Bowles has been promoted to head coach. Um, Bruce Arians is still involved with the team, so he'll still have his input, but I'm not even going to get into all of that. Uh, so just there's a lot of key changes for the um, for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Also, Rob Gronkowski retiring. We had Ali Marpet, who was a, a all-pro guard for our team. He retired, and we also lost a a key member Alex Kappa from our offensive line. He now plays for the Cincinnati Bengals. So, and then of course we had Jordan Whitehead, our safety, strong starting strong safety. You know, he left, you know, via free agency. Uh, Dominican Sue, you know, we let him go. JPP, we let him go. So the Bucks have a lot of changes on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. But, anyways, the linebacking core, I feel like, will be the strength of this defense. I mean, you have veteran Levante David, you have sideline, the sideline tackler, uh, Devin White, and then you also have have Shaq Barrett, who are the Buc- who the Bucks are looking to have a bounce back year from this guy, and then you also have young players like Tyron Shanoikin Shanoika. Sorry if I mispronounce his last name; I always have trouble with his last name. But he's a young player who they hope to mature to to so- solidify those edge rushing positions with him and Shaq Barrett. But anyways, going into training camp, there's also been rumors and speculation that Leonard Fournette is reported at 260 pounds. Now Leonard Fournette has refused those claims saying that you know he's down to 240 right now but I mean what's a 20 pound difference when your running back listed weight is 228 so regardless if you're 260 or 240 Leonard you're still out of shape and out of weight so it don't matter what it is that's like saying you know I'm saying oh nah I only had one I only had one piece of cake well it don't matter you weren't supposed to have none of it so why why does it matter if you had just had one but anyway so Leonard Fournette has refuted those claims and said he's more close to 240 ish but the Bucks just gave him a three year 21 million dollar deal and the way he repays them is by showing up to camp overweight regardless if it's 240 or 260 bro they just gave you a new contract at least you could do is respect the teams respect Tom Brady everybody else is working hard to make sure they're in shape do the same thing Leonard Fournette but anyways some position battles to pay attention to coming into the training camp so one of the key position battles like I mentioned earlier are all pro guard Ali Marpet retired so now you have a position battle with uh, Aaron Stinney He's a tenured Bucks. He he got some spot duty here and there for the Bucks for the past two seasons. He played also during the uh, Tampa Bay Bucks Super Bowl run. So as of right now, for this position battle, he does have the inside track. But the Tampa Bay Bucks did spend a second round pick on Luke. Godoki. So they're expecting him to push and challenge for that starting uh, right, left guard spot. So that's the position battle that you might need to pay attention to because Tom Brady is 4,733 years old. So the offensive line has to be intact. It has to be everything. But that's one of the position battles to pay attention to during training camp. Another one is a strong safety position. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Jordan Whitehead left via free agency. So now the strong safety position is between three players. First one is Mike Edwards. Mike Edwards has the inside track as he's a uh, tenured Tampa Bay Buck player. He's no he knows Ty Bowles' defense. He also played for the Tampa Bay Bucks during their Super Bowl run. If I'm not mistaken, I think he had an interception during the the, during the Super Bowl game. If I'm not mistaken, so he has the inside track on that strong safety position. But also they have new additions: Logan Ryan, who they added to the squad via trade from the um from the New England Patriots, and Keanu Neal, who they signed via free agency. So That's a three-headed position battle for the strong safety spot that a lot of people might want to pay attention to coming into the training camp as well. Uh, So Another key addition is tight end Kyle Rudolph. Um, We lost O.J. Howard via free agency. He plays for the Buffalo Bills now. And of course, like I mentioned earlier, you had Rob Gronkowski who retired. So basically the the Tampa Bay Bucks have to rely on Cameron Brake. So they brought in you know 12-year vet Kyle Rudolph. Now in 2021, Kyle Rudolph had 26 receptions 
receptions, 257 yards, and one touchdown for the New York Giants. Um, everybody knows that Tom Brady likes to use the tight ends and backs in his offense. So uh, I see Kyle Rudolph and Cameron Bray getting a lot of big play opportunities to move the chains for this offense. So look for Kyle Rud- Rudolph being a key addition for this squad as well. Um, one thing that I do feel like the Tampa Bay Bucks need to add some depth at is the edge rusher position. Um, they only have Shaq Barrett and the young kid uh, Tyron Shanoikin. Again, I'm sorry if I messed up his name, but I feel like they're going to look to add some some veteran free agency depth to that edge rusher position. So look for them to bring in you know a couple of vets during training camp and preseason to get a look at them to be on the depth chart. Uh, keep an eye on a guy like Carlos Dunlap. I mean, at this stage and point, I mean, all the major good free agents are gone. So, I mean, not that it's the bottom of the barrel, but these are kind of just the guys who are left over. Um, so look at them to, to bring in a couple of veterans. Also for their defensive tackle position as well, they did, they did draft a defensive tackle in the first round, I mean, the second round as well for the Tampa Bay Bucks. But with Anomkin Sue no longer with the team, I feel like they're trying to go a little bit younger up front. So be looking for the Tampa Bay Bucks to add a little bit depth on the line and also the edge rusher position as well. But anyways, this has been your boy Nephew Q here to give you my Bucks breakdown. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, KY Beyond the Game. Make sure you listen to us on all major podcast streaming platforms. Also, you can uh, download the Beyond the Game app on your Amazon Fire Stick and watch us from the confines of your very own home. Or you can download the Beyond the Game app by typing in KY Beyond the Game, all one word, in the Google Play Store or the App Store on your iPhone and download the app and get notifications every time a show drops so therefore you know everything that's going on with us. But anyways, this has been your boy Nephew Q. I've taken up too much of your time and as always, I want you to treat somebody how you want somebody. Treat your mama and up at this thing, y'all. Peace.